We welcome Shroud to the stage. And it's kind of cool to say that because it's been such a long time since we've been able to see you in competitive mode. How does it feel to finally be back on the grind set? Uh, I mean, it feels good. It's uh, difficult for sure. It's been a while, you know. <laughs> I, I got to ask, coming into yesterday, it's been a while since you play, played at a competitive level. Was there any pre-match jitters, maybe going back to your earlier years of competition, going back to that old Manajuma CS squad when you're going to a LAN for the first time? Did you kind of feel that building up because it's been such a long time? Actually, yeah. And as weird as it is, I think we all felt that. When we went into that first BO3, we had such like high energy even before the game started rather than like calm energy and i'm more of a calm guy so we came in like super super hyped and i think that might have been the, the jitters i'm not sure did you feel more comfortable as that match progressed did you kind of like find that comfort zone or were you still like trying to adjust as the pace of play here is maybe a little bit different compared to even just the scrims you've been doing in practices um i mean it was a little it was it took a little bit to get that comfort i'll be honest like i i feel like i needed that one bo3 it's 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 been like five years okay i was <laughs> I, I had some jitters but i'm feeling comfortable now i'm feeling good i mean you, you mentioned it's been five years I, I know you're far from old and you've been praised for your mechanical prowess uh but being surrounded by younger players in a game with such a high pace of play does that make you feel like a boomer at all when you watch the way they play the game <laughs> I mean, it definitely makes me feel like a boomer when I play ranked, but not so much in like scrims and matches. Uh, you mentioned in a video piece as well that Tens specifically and some of the other players look up to you because of your career and how they came up in the scene looking specifically at their time in CS and then transitioning over to Valorant. Does you feel like that makes you more of like a mentor for some of these younger players or that it gives you more control and more say in what the roster does and plans for? I don't think it's... I don't think it's like being a mentor. I think it's more of as weird as it is, just like kind of like a a weird, like maybe inspiration, like kind of lifting people's spirits, maybe. I think it's closer to that than like being a mentor because I'm coming into Valorant with zero professional experience. I don't really have much say in what's right and what's wrong besides like the fundamentals, like how to trade, but everybody knows how to do that. Um, so it's more of like a like an inspiration, you know, I'm lifting people's spirits, hopefully. You, you mentioned the map one yesterday kind of having some jitters. Map one today, you were like melting people, as specifically as Viper and your ult, you were having such a great game. Did you feel like you were just in the zone in map one, like you were hitting your stride just like you had several years prior? Yeah, I don't know. It was just like the second the, the second the day started, I was just feeling good, you know? So I just ran with that energy, feeling super confident right off the rip and it and just kind of carried, right? Once you have that one really good round, I mean, the rest of the series is just going to be great. That's just how I function. You've had a month of practice with this team now, which resulted in this uh, trip to start the LCQ. How do you feel the team is stacking up? How high is the ceiling for this Sentinels roster? And have you even gotten close to it yet? Honestly, I don't think we've gotten close because like, yeah, we've been here for we've been here for a month or well, we've been at boot camp for about two weeks. So we got a lot of practice in sure. But in the grand scheme of things, how much is two to four weeks? It's really not mm. that much. If this is a roster that would stay together, ooh, hoo -hoo, I think it'd be dangerous because just the just the small stuff that we were managed to do here in these two to four weeks, uh, in my opinion, is insane. It didn't really show in the first BO3, but I I promise we got we got more to show. Well, I'll go ahead and let you go. Congratulations on the win. It's awesome seeing you guys compete and find the win. Sentinels finally back on top in the series. Feels like it's been a long time since we said that. Thank you.